Baoji is called Chensong in ancient China. It is the home of Yan Emperor and also bronzeware. Later in Tang Dynasty, the city was named after Jifeng Mountain at the southwest of the city. Ming Tzu Jandao, Andu Chensang. This is a phrase that Chinese history enthusiasts should be very familiar with. And it's also a phrase that's very famous in here in Baoji. It roughly translates to a story about a battle where they renovated the main road and then attacked by the smaller one, a tactic of deception. So we're here to take a look at what this famous and historic city has to offer. Show me what you've got. Baoji is located at the west part of Guangzhou Plain. It's a great tourism location. And in this trip, I'll be going to climb Taibai Mountain. I'll learn about the local customs at the Baoji Folk Museum and discover the wonders of China Bronzeware Museum. It's a little bit cold this morning, so before we continue our adventure, I think I've got to get some food. So what do the locals have here? Douhua pao mo. Bean curd pao mo. So nice and warm. Get me fresh, get me ready for the day. Uh, I think well, let's go get some local food. Dou Hua Pao Mo, a local food from Fengxian County in Baoji. It is basically some pita bread soaked in tofu curd and soy milk with some seasoning. So this is very popular in Baoji. Bean curd. Mm. It actually tastes like milk curds. Have you ever had mil milk curds, yeah? Similar to in Inner Mongolia. Before I got here in the morning, it was packed. This place is a quite a famous restaurant. So if you want to come and get your Dohua Pao Mo while it's still hot, you're going to need to get up bright and early. Because this place actually closes at 9 a.m., so I better hurry. <laughs> it's good. 